What's going on boys and girls? Sean Wita here and today uh, we're not in the office so we do have my beautiful 2023 got me an FXR 20 Skeeter this year um, been been fishing out of this for a few months really loving it and uh, we're going to show off some of the cool features too of the uh, FXR Skeeter on the water so catch you in a minute. Bass on that root. Is that a bass or is that the root? I think that's the root. Try it. Nope, it's a big bass. I thought it was. Thought it You're was. right, buddy. Good thing you don't listen to me. That's a good one. Put her in the whale. Oh, dude. Big. big. out here today um, and like I said we're just enjoying ourselves and you know I want to talk a little bit about this skeeter that we're fishing out of so you know I, my first bass boat um, was a 1996 skeeter it was a ZX 200 uh, was rated for a 200 for some reason the one I had only had a 175 on it and I fell in love with that boat um, you know uh, in the area of the country that I grew up in fishing shallow uh, skeeter to me it always had the deck, the flipping deck. And I understand that a lot of boats have that now. Um, it's a very common, almost all modern bass boats have the low gunnels. The Skeeter was one of the first companies to do that. They were one of the first companies back in the 90s to get rid of uh, any kind of wood in the transom, okay? And to have uh, an all composite, uh, all composite transom. So Skeeter did a lot of firsts. Um, it was just a cool time uh, back then, the Skeeter team, you know, I'd see these guys that I looked up to, they were fishing, uh, and I always thought the guys in them Skeeters were cool, man, they had their kind of kind of old school jackets, the old Skeeter bug on the back, and their black and red Skeeters, so I fell in love with Skeeter boats um, many, many, many years ago, you know, and most of you that have watched me, you know, Skeeter's usually the boat that I run, uh, I am fond of them. To me, to have this big, wide flipping deck, um, the boats float extremely shallow. Now, I realize uh, in some parts of the country, that doesn't matter, um, the, you know, if your boat floats shallow, but the way we fish, uh, actually the way I'm fishing right now, I'm rubbing the bottom, it, it's important for me to have a boat that floats shallow, and those sponsons on the back of, of the Skeeter, they really keep that rear end floating high, especially with the advent of the power poles, the batteries and stuff in the back, so uh, the wide deck and the fishability of the Skeeter is what made me uh, fall in love. And, you know, throughout the years, the company's really advanced. I, I've had, uh, you know, almost all the boats since 96. You know, I've, I went through the original ZX series, the 202s, um, you know, right when Yamaha bought them, you know, I think the ZX202, uh, on, on up through the modern ZXs, then the uh, I-Class, I was a big time favorite i-class guy that was a, a wonderful boat um, and I, I you know really really liked it then they had the fx they went to more of the 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 narrower nose in the front and the fx and, and i feel like it's come full circle now we're back in the fxr it's got the agility and the speed and the handling of the fx models that were more narrow but we've got this big wide signature skeeter deck so um just really been proud to be part of, of Skeeter for a long time, selling their boats. Um, you know, they uh, have, uh, have been a good fit for us for a long time. But enough of that, I'm gonna get back to catching some fish. So what do you think, Cole, are we gonna get after them today or what? I'll try to. All right. 